With its alpine lakes and majestic snow-capped peaks, the Highway 395 corridor on the eastern side of the Sierra Nevada mountain range is amongst the most scenic parts of California. Join Jeff and Sarah on this episode of History Hunters as they explore historical spots of the Mammoth Lakes area and revisit Western movie history. Sarah and I took advantage of a weekend getaway to check out historical spots in Mammoth Lakes, California, a ski resort town on the backside of the eastern Sierra Nevadas. Sarah suggested we check out Mammoth Lakes Museum, which is the former Hayden Cabin. We're at the Hayden Cabin here in Mammoth, California. Mr. Hayden, the guy who established the Hayden Hunting and Fishing Map Company, built this cabin behind us. We're going to check it out. Outside here is a bunch of junk. Reminds me of Bodie, California. This looks like they turned an old car into a saw. The cabin is a museum repository of old photos, maps, trophies, original handmade furnishings, and other personal belongings. Also on display are some original maps Hayden's company made of the Sierras. So could you live in this cabin? Yes, I could live in this cabin. It's pretty cool, huh? How about with all the dead animals up there? Because you love animals. Well, I'm sure they probably ate that deer before they stuck its head on the wall. <laughs> now these, which are serving no purpose, I don't know. This what do you mean? They probably were eaten too, huh? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Do you eat fox? I mean, no. What is that, fox coyote? I don't think we eat fox. Pretty porous huh, on those walls. Yeah, I definitely need to plug those holes with some mud and stuff. Well, this is uh, definitely a throwback to a different era when men could hunt. The four-room log cabin was built between 1927 and 1937 by Emmett Hayden, founder of Hayden Map Company, the first to map the Eastern Sierras. You could live in here and cook on that rustic stove. I could live in. Would it always be comfortable? <laughs> Probably not. Like there's a, a bear on the wall. Oh man, look at that guy. They purchased this wood burning stove from a ranch in Nevada between 1906 and 1918. That's their fridge, huh? Before modern ice boxes, ice had to be cut from frozen lakes and stored in ice houses to be used through the summer. It's an old radio and an old speaker right here. The picture shows Mammoth from 1927 to 37. Mammoth Mountain in the background. I like that chassis. After leaving the Hayden cabin, we headed out to the Mammoth Hot Creek Geological Site near Mammoth. We're here. You think it's gonna be anything worth seeing? This sign has some very foreboding news. It says 14 people have lost their lives. They've been burned here since 1968. Gotta check out the hot springs down here. Nature's cauldron. At least four Hollywood movies were filmed in Hot Creek Gorge. John Wayne came here in 1960 to film North to Alaska. North to Alaska, I go north, the rush is strong. Way up north, way up north, way up north. So if you can imagine, 
the magma in the center of the earth is boiling up these fissures of water that come to the surface here, hot springs. John Wayne, Glenn Campbell, and Kim Darby came here in 1969 to film scenes for the blockbuster movie, True Grit. Who are you? What do you want? We're looking for a place to sleep. Well, there's no room for you here! A lot of warnings around here about scalding water. A hole. What's steam coming out of it? Oh, it is. Sarah makes another discovery. A steaming hot hole. <laughs> <laughs> what did you discover? A steaming hot hole. <laughs> that smells like eggs. <laughs> You're sick. It's, it's gassy. <laughs> <laughs> rat poop. So in this cave in 1880, nothing happened. <laughs> that we know of. I don't know. Some Indians could have been here, some bandits. Although I don't think there's been too many bandits running around in uh, Mammoth. When Sarah and I drove back in here, we saw no sign of water, no sign of runoff from the Sierra Nevada mountains behind us. So we couldn't figure out where this water was going to be coming from. It's from a natural spring. Steve McQueen confronted Brian Keith in a 1966 scene shot here for the movie Nevada Smith. I haven't seen one of them old guns in years. Won't work, you know. I said stay back. Well, the barrel's all rusted up, my hammer's broke. Besides, they haven't made ammunition for one of them things in ten years. The filming of Shootout brought Gregory Peck and Jeff Corey here in 1971. Their next stop takes Jeff and Sarah to the Mammoth Consolidated Mining Company site. Let's see, so Great Depression ended this operation. What this is. We're gonna find out. The Mammoth Consolidated Mine Company. We invite you to walk along the one half mile loop trail which leads through the historic mining camp. And this talks about magma, superheated gases hot violently upward, escaping through these cracks carrying melted gold and other minerals. Ooh. Also, also known as Mineral Hill and Gold Mountain, this colorful colorful part of the landscape was the location of the first gold discovery in the Mammoth area and was made by prospectors in search of the legendary lost cement mine. Yeah. Alright. Oh, he oh. has one eye gone. One eye jack. It's one eye jack. <laughs> Enjoy, it's a beautiful day. Hey, pup. Sarah's a fool for dogs. She wants a dog, but I told her since she has two cats, Nothing doing. So if she gives up the two cats, she can have a dog. One oh, dog. That's one what he thinks dog. until I show up with one. 
And then it's <laughs> bye bye, Sarah. No. <laughs> if you're going to give yourself up so I could have a dog. <laughs> These look a lot like Bodie, California, where the wood has been preserved and left intact. There's the old tar to weatherize the cabins because there's big old cracks between the planks. Obviously these are cabins that housed the miners back in the day. The mine office has fallen to the elements. It is no longer standing rocks to hold up for the floor joists. I think it's sad to see history like this just allowed to collapse, fall into scrap heap of history. This is a superintendent's residence. This cot has seen its better days. The consolidated mine began in 1927 when A.G. Mahan Sr., son Arch and business partners, purchased promising gold and silver mining claims on Red Mountain near Lake Mary. A historical outhouse here in Mammoth, California, is where all the miners took a dump. Up here is an outstanding cabin that mm, maybe could be saved. This cabin, 1929, but... I know, it's almost like it could be preserved. There's always graffiti carved in these places. People just don't respect anything. This looks like cement that was put in the cracks, obviously to weatherproof the cabin. Windows have been taken out. Yeah, modern day plywood over the windows. I wonder if the animals live in there. Aminals. You're an aminal freak. I'm an aminal freak. I love aminals too. I love to eat them. One is supposed to stay on the trail, but I can't get good video by staying on the trail. We'll find out what this is. Assay office. It's where you took your gold and, and figured out how much it was worth. That's what that is. Too bad they let it fall apart. Everybody who worked in here is dead and in the dust, just like this place is going to be very soon. I'm going to. Here's the front window. That's what time will do completely snap threads from a pipe. Okay, there's the mine. Obviously, the mine shaft was here. Single cylinder oil field engine with 100 horsepower. It's an ore processing mill. This diesel-powered mill, located near the lower adit, crushed and processed the ore delivered to the site via ore cars. I wonder how much gold they took out of here. The Mammoth Consolidated Mines produced an estimated $100,000 in gold and silver, but it's unlikely that much of a profit was made. I'm betting that that thing made a lot of racket when it was in operation around here. Imagine there was a lot of excitement here with all the guys in and out of that hole trying to find gold. And over here, it looks like a piece of rail for them ore cars. Sarah said something about coming up here to the compressor and upper attic. <sighs> Seems like every time I do one of these videos, I'm in an altitude that causes my breath to be sucked right out of my body. Oh man, we must be about eight, nine thousand feet here. Now today is September 15th and there's still snow up there on the mountains. It's a beautiful day today. Sarah's got ahead of me and found some great stuff. That looks like a, <laughs> wow. That. Wooden rim? That. It is a familiar name, Ingersoll Rand. Look at that old radiator. Look at that. Look at this crank to turn this baby on. I wonder if that broke any arms. It's 
old engine. <laughs> Look at these old, solid rubber tires. Oh, that's what kills me is those wooden spokes. <laughs> Fuel tanks in the back. It's amazing, amazing equipment here. Gas-powered air compressors were used for pneumatic-powered drills and to pump fresh air into the mine shaft. Power, power, something. To power something. Can't. Um, that's MS. MF. Manufacturing. CP. I wonder how much this metal would go for if they scrapped it. Those are good rich tires. Still out in the weather and still around. Metal rim, solid rubber tire. I can't think of a more beautiful place to have a gold mine. I thought the gold mine. No, I didn't even notice it. I was looking the other way. We found the gold mine. Two 800 foot long horizontal tunnels into the mine, called adits, are connected by a vertical chute, which provided natural ventilation and allowed miners to dump ore from the upper tunnel to waiting ore cars below. But, can't go in. Oh, close for your protection, using a bat-friendly closure to preserve bat habitat. Huh. Oh, bats live in there. They've gone batty. That's as far as we go. Found the gold mine. Somebody's been in there, there's a can. All you have to do is slip through that bottom. Oh, uh, you'd have to be pretty thin to get through there. Yeah, <laughs> okay. my, my butt's a little too big for that. My question is, how much gold did they get out of here? Must have been profitable for a while. If you like old gold mining history, I would recommend coming here. So, what's your impressions of this place? It's pretty cool. Beautiful yeah. all around. I'm surprised you can get so close to this stuff. They must not have a lot of hooligans here. That dead stump back there is preserved partly because of the high altitude here. <laughs> <laughs> Any little bug gets her screaming. Those ones are big and make loud noise. What are they going to do? Carry you away like a helicopter? <laughs> Well, our visit here to Mammoth Consolidated Mining Company was shut down in, I think, 1929 because of the Great Depression. It's an interesting place to visit. And if you're like the billy goat over there, you can climb up the hills. <laughs> <laughs> Consolidated employed about 14 miners who lived in bunkhouses. After making about $5.25 per day and charged $1.25 per day for room and board, the men cleared about $4 a day. It was a good wage at the time when you consider that's about $75 in today's dollars. <laughs>